everyone how are you doing it's martin here one hour playthrough and it's gonna happen we're going to kill the monster i prepared everything have a look at here um got 36 arrows got four bandages got my air gun 12 more spears i think i'm good to go just the final preparations needs to get a little bit more light though um you want to do this at noon so the sun is really high let's say you start finding it around 12 o'clock um just the, the technique i'm going to use i'm going to find them underwater and i think it's going to work really really nice so without further ado let's go you can't really see it right now if you log off and you log on again um the fort is still there but it needs to spawn in again so it's it's really straight ahead so let's uh, get right to it and um, it's always between two islands so we have an island to my left here as you can see and to the right it actually fits on one screen now and right in the middle if you just keep sailing um, this is where you'll find then if you check the map of course in the cartographer the uh, the, the sea fort so All right, yeah. C4 is getting into view. Um, during the fight, I'm not going to say anything. And the reason is, it has some really epic music. It's really, really nice. I didn't know, uh, but I was uh, testing a few things and testing a strategy, which I'm going to use. Uh, I have never defeated the eel yet, nearly. And uh, this is why I used to have 30 arrows with me and four spears, and it wasn't enough. So I hope uh, the amount of arrows and spears that I carry right now will do the job. And uh, with the bandages, I'll probably get um, bitten one or twice, once or twice, but that's fine. I will survive it. All right, let's go. O oops, oh, that wasn't that wasn't the best. Let's try this again. You should be able to jump on and yeah, there you go. Let's activate it because we have time enough because I want to have the sun a little bit higher. It's oh, it's gonna rain. Uh, in the rain, this is not gonna work. So I probably have to hurry it up a little bit here. Oh, oops. Because you need to have uh, good visibility under the water. There it is. Let's activate the quest. All right. The Great Abaya. I think this is how you pronounce it. Let's do it. Let's go down here. And so it sucks pretty much that it's going to rain, but it sometimes takes a while before the rain comes, so we'll see. Alright. I think I would just step on my raft here. I hope so. There we go. Now my tip is don't jump in the water here, but just go to the two little pipes that are sticking out. And you can prepare yourself and the great Abana Abaya won't spawn in. Alright. Let's check the visibility on the water first. Uh, this is pretty good. Yeah. That will work. Alright. Well, let's do it. Let's call him in. Go over here and just wait till he comes out.
Oh, shit. That's nice. Alright, did it, guys. Now, I need my raft. Am I swimming? Yes, I am swimming. Wow, that was a really, really nice epic fight. I love it. Um, did I get the trophy? No. I'm going to guess I need to find them, but I think there's no way I can go to the bottom. Especially not in this weather. So what I'm going to do is just uh, <laughs> get on, uh, on, on board of this. Uh, oh my goodness. Uh, there we go. Go on the sea fort and wait it out, I guess. Um, but yeah, there you have it. That was the fight. I think that would do. Um, I'm not sure if you can find his uh, his body, but um, I think I'm gonna wait it out and just do some cut editing. So uh, I'll be right back and we try to die for it. All right, the storm is dying down. Oh my goodness, it was a big one again. So, what I want to do is maybe explore the wreck a little bit, but it's more like a shell kind of thing. And, um, but I guess if you want to make the trophy, you need to set. Oh, it is diveable, although there's a massive cliff here. And he probably went down. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think that is a very wise idea. Let's not do that, shall we? Oh my goodness, that was really deep. Whew. Well, uh, that's another lesson then learned. That um, do the final hit near the ship, else you will lose him. I'm really curious what's in here though. Let's go up. This is where uh, he came out. And... Uh, I always want to know if there's a loot. Alright, let's do it. Let's have a look. It's like a giant abyss here. And I don't think there's anything. Nope. I don't think there's anything of interesting loot. It's it's if you look at the back of the ship as well, it's a really strange shell. Check it out. If you do it like this then it kind of you can look inside and everything so yeah all right well i hope you like this one and i hope uh, this technique is good for you um if you have a look quick look in my inventory so i had a 36 um air gun arrows and i used them all and i didn't miss a single uh, hit i don't think so you only used one bandage it was fine and they heal pretty good so that's that wasn't a problem and I only used two spares so let's say if you take 40 arrows with you um, and as I must say the the spear gun or the air gun it's a spear gun it's really really good it's much better than uh, using a whole bunch of crude spears and well you have to fill up your inventory for that where you can uh, a stack of uh, spear gun arrows will stack up to 25 so yeah, it's pretty good and these are only stacking to four Anyway, hope you liked this. Uh, thank you for all the support in this little mini-series. I really, really appreciate it. I also checked uh, during the storm if there was any loot where there was nothing to be had. So I'm going to head back to my island. Um, if I only knew where it was. Uh, I think it's that one, actually. And um, yeah, prepare for the, for the next episode. Uh, I'm probably going to do some Fallout. And uh, Subnautica, because the giveaway is still on, but this amazing new quest came in between so i had to put on subnautica on hold but definitely going to continue so check out the series as well but for now thanks for watching everyone thanks for all your support welcome to all the new subscribers i will see you next time bye